all my beautiful divas and dudes, Princess Caress here, and this video is a review for CoverGirl Foundation. I usually use the CoverGirl Queen Foundation in Golden Honey, the compact. I like the consistency of it. But I wanted to try the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. My sunscreen is SPF 20. Okay, that's what it says on the front. You gotta excuse my nails. I'll be doing a nail tutorial. Um, later um but this says this is in tawny color 20 um tawny um uh, says all day flawless coverage which is true i didn't think a liquid would be fabulous <laughs> um it says less than powder power of a primer coverage of a concealer and blendability Blendability of a foundation in one shine free. Yeah, it's a little shine free, but I still had to add some powder to it. Um, I, I like it, I really do. And sometimes foundations can last longer than the cream because you have to put the cream, I mean the cream, the compact on a. You can do. A, some people might do liquid with their fingers. That's not very sanitary, but. You know, whatever floats your boat. It's just a saying. Um, whatever you prefer is what it means. Uh, you can use a sponge with the liquid too, but it just, it's your preference. That's what it is. So you can mix both. You could start with the uh, liquid, then use the compact as a like concealer for certain areas and stuff. Uh, just whatever you feel but uh, I also ventured out and got CoverGirl plus Olay which I didn't know it had Olay stuff in it I thought it was just regular because I've used CoverGirl concealer before it says concealer balm somebody might say balam 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 balm Concealer stick is what I say. Um, let's see, I ripped the package open once I saw they had my color because it's that say medium deep. Picking that up. It's hard to find. The only place I found that was Kmart. And I'm so happy for that. Um, it says. Makeup meets skincare with a moisture locking formula and a flawless looking spot coverage. The formula glides on smoothly and covers to reduce the appearance of dark circles. Reduce. I'm glad it says reduce. It doesn't say eliminate. Evidently. Um, dark circles, age spots, and redness. Smooth glide stick. Easy to use. Won't clog pores. Use with cover girl. Blah, blah, blah. Foundation and... Ole pressed powder. That's pretty good, but sometimes when they mix different things like that, it can tend to break somebody out. That's why I, I said, oh gosh, because I've got sensitive skin. I didn't know it had the Ole in it, but as far as I can tell, it's not, it might have a scent to it. I'm trying to see without my reading glasses. I don't see. It's got ginseng root in it. That's interesting. I'm reading the ingredients. Uh, I have no clue what it said on this cardboard because I tore it off. Uh, but I love, I love these products. I love the CoverGirl. I love the Outlast. I love the Queen. I love the Queen. It's just sometimes it's so hard to find it because a lot of Stores have the thought of it's an ethnic product, you know. Um, Walmart has some things sometimes, but certain 
cosmetic brands they tend to cut it off right there at the darkest beige and they don't go past the tan. Summertime they might have a different set to think oh well people are getting sun tan so we need a little darker foundation. Thank God for Kmart because I got these at Kmart. I got this at Dollar General which I'm really happy to see because they used to have um, what was that? That's back when I was at Eckerd's. There was a uh, black opal now you can find that online but sometimes people don't like ordering makeup online which I, I don't blame them um and black radiance dark and lovely had a makeup too I, I have to admit i still have that somewhere i don't know why they got rid of it it was called shades of you and i have it down deep in my makeup drawer so pardon the dirt it's just makeup. See, it was called Shades of You. And I, I don't know why I didn't. It's a beautiful color. It's probably 20 years old. I just, certain things I just, I don't use them because it'll probably break my skin out, but which for sure it will. I just don't want to, I don't know, just like a collector's item thing. Uh, but that's the, I know I mixed in a whole bunch of different brands but it's focused mainly on the Olay products because they, they're treating skin really good and they notice that there's a market for ethnic ethnic skin tones uh, love these queen products please please let them keep these don't let them get rid of them um, no I'm you see on my Facebook page is stuff that I'm proud um it's got a little sleepy um i hate to mix in things but i have i have to get it you, you'll see what i'm doing you know i'm doing another uh thing uh, but i just love all kinds of makeup i'm not uh prejudiced of any kind of makeup i'll try any brand uh but with my skin, I just have to test it out and see if it works. I'll give you a good review on uh, com companies if you're watching this video. I'll give you an honest review on uh, how it does my skin because I can wear certain kinds of makeup. And I really haven't had any problem with uh, different makeup brands recently. Um, but I've got the CoverGirl on right now. Uh, like I said, if it's a... Uh, ethnic ethnic makeup I'll try it um, I love this color it stays well and so does this uh, just depends on your skin and you know if you sweat a lot or something like that you might have to add powder to carry your compact um, I had a compact in my bag I know it's going to make a lot of noise this is, gosh, you can't even read it. I need my reading glasses. This is CoverGirl Queen. I can't even see it. I'll have to put it down below in the box. Um, powder. Hopefully I can turn this light off. Let's see what it says. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my bag of makeup. I'm okay. Uh, I'll have to put it down in the description box because I cannot see what that says. I don't know if it'll come across better on camera or not. This thing. But if you're like me, if you got a favorite color or something and you're running out, you, you take the color with you to the store so you can see it. And be like, oh, this is the color I need. You can't see it on the back. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before, but I'll do that. Just to make sure I get the right makeup, because that's really good. Um, but, I'm back, and I'm happy. Keep smiling. <laughs>